Today on Happy Tales, we're going to meet Charlie, who's a friend to all animals. We'll take a trip under the sea and meet Charlie's clown posse. Then we get our hands on some scaly reptiles. And it's time to join in on some puppy playtime with the pack. My name's Charlie. Um, this is a 120 gallon reef tank uh, I've had for about a year now. Um, there's about 15 different fishes. There's about, say, 20 different species of invertebrates and give or take 15 uh, coral species. I feed the fish uh, meaty food about once a week and flake food, which is like a dried from the fish store. You know, really anywhere you can get that sells pet supply will sell a reef blend flake. It's definitely the best television you can get. It's like a drama too, right? There's, a, there's fish eating each other and if something dies, I mean, it's getting eaten in 12 hours. Like it doesn't last too long in the fish tank. So you gotta be on top of something sick. You gotta pay attention to it. So it's more, it's not necessarily the maintenance, it's more like being aware of what's going on in your fish tank. Like if your fish are gasping, oh, I gotta do something, I gotta start paying attention, be the owner. But when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes uh, in my job, I work in a parkade, for example. So I drive to site, I go underground, and it's dark when I get there. And maybe for lunch, I get to come up and see some sunlight, if it's sunny, but in the wintertime, it gets dark at four. So I'm driving home in the dark and you know this is nice to have the sun still awake <laughs> when I get home as opposed to uh, nothing at all. My name's Riza from Wu-Tang Clan. Riza the Lizard. This is a savanna monitor. I believe they're from Africa. They're scavengers. They eat basically uh, whatever you feed them. Not necessarily dangerous but it'll definitely maim you. It'll squish a finger, break it off. I wouldn't leave little babies around it. When he flicks his tongue, he's just checking it out like a dog would smell the air. He's kind of smelling out you, smelling me. Could probably gain some weight. He's a little bit chubbier, but it's because he was kind of hibernating lately. This is uh, Goldie, and this is Sally. They are leopard geckos. This one's like seven and this one's at least nine. They can live for about 20 years. I've only seen ones like up to 15 and 16, but I mean, how many geckos do you see? Mainly I feed them super worms and mealworms with a little bit of dust on them. Like vitamin dust, they have to eat a vitamin supplement dust just to sort of supplement the rest, the stuff that they don't get in the specific food. They're good for uh, young kids, get them, and uh, they're sort of low maintenance. You don't have to feed them, feed them a couple times a week. They miss a feeding, they don't perish. Sometimes people just stare into their eyes and they're like, that is calm. Sort of an innocence about it too. They don't have all the corruption because they can't understand words. These animals probably impacted me in uh, making me a lot more of a responsible person. Um, you know, you gotta come home, you gotta, you can't just not feed them for a couple weeks because then you're just, oh, my animal died because I was lazy. It's not really an acceptable excuse. This is Cannon, and this is Camino. Both purebred sandwiches. They need to be fed on time, like uh, they don't take no crap. They're happier to be in the truck waiting for me than they are at home waiting for me. I had a sandwich when I was growing up, between five and 13 or so, and he was just the sweetest, well-mannered dog. They're like cartoon characters. Say. They always, they're always nipping at each other, or nipping at me, or trying to get something. I would say they're close to my best friends, yes. Um, they don't give me any sass most of the time. And uh, they're always there, happy, happy to be uh, my dog, I guess, would be the best way to put it. They're happy when I get home, not very happy when I leave. <laughs> they're naturally friendly to other dogs. They're not a fighting dog or like this is kind of sucky right here. They're making out with each other. Guys, stop. Okay, sit up straight. I think every pet deserves a good home. Uh, if you see one and it catches your eye and you are prepared to spend the time on it and commit yourself and a portion of your life to making it happy and comfortable, like this little thing here, it, uh, then you should go for it. You shouldn't let anything people say stop you. You can't always uh, get along with people sometimes. And uh, 
these guys kind of give you a perspective on, like I said, the more innocent side. That they just want to be fed, hang out with their buddies. All you can ask for, right, Samoids? Samoids? Fed? Go for a walk? Hang out? Bike ride? <laughs> yeah, you don't, can't say bike ride too loud. They don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Charlie opened his heart and his home to give his animals the love and attention they deserve. We're going to go visit Lily, who will introduce us to a pet that's waiting to lavish love and affection on you. Lily, can you introduce me to this rabbit over here has one ear flopped out? I know, isn't it adorable? This is Speedy, and she is a Dutch mix, approximately eight months old, so she's still fairly young. As you see, she has a sister. They've bonded quite a bit. This is black licorice. They were brought here together by a constable who was visiting someone's home, and the environment was not good enough for the rabbit's well-being. So they were brought here, and they are really happy. So we do recommend that if you have a smaller house or an apartment, it's not really the best fit, because rabbits do need a lot of room to exercise. As you can see, they love to hop around. And what do they eat other than carrots? Well, one of their uh, main staples is Timothy hay. And we actually have a lot of that here. We have big buckets. Um, so that is a very important part of their diet. It has a lot of nutrients in it. And they love lettuce. Like, they'll eat lettuce for days if we let them. So we always give them a lettuce and some baby carrots as well. They really enjoy them. How long do rabbits live for? Rabbits can actually live for quite a long time. They can live up to nine years. So they are a big responsibility. If you get a rabbit, it's you know, not like a hamster or a mouse that only lives for a couple years. A rabbit is, it's like a little kid, so you're definitely signing on for a, a big responsibility, but they are very loyal, they're very friendly, so it's definitely worth it to have one in your family. To adopt Speedy or Black Licorice, visit the BCSPCA. If you can open your home and your heart, save a life and adopt a pet from the BCSPCA. For Happy Tales on Novus TV, I'm Corinne Scalbeck.